everyone to our course on Hindu art and architecture. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about the iconographical features of Vishnu. Let us begin with the introduction. As you remember, we talked about the three murti or the holy trinity or the triad. One of them is Shiva, which has been discussed in the previous lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about Vishnu. Vishnu is considered to be the sustainer and the protector of the universe. As for the Vaishnava Puran, the etymological meaning of Vishnu is derived from the prefix Vish, which means to enter. According to the Puranic period, which roughly corresponds around 5th to 6th centuries CE, we see the foundation of the Vishnu cult, which, which was well defined and uh, got it, its ground in the uh, Indian subcontinent. Vishnu gained importance during this period and he was promoted as the protector and sustainer of the universe. The Puranas, such as the Vishnu, Narad, Bhagavad Puran, Garur, Padma and Varaha are the Vaishnava Purans where we find the many stories associated with Vishnu and his various forms. Let us discuss about the Avatara theory. So, Vishnu is quietly related with the Avatara theory and there are 10 basic incarnations of Vishnu which are known as the Dasha Avatar, which is derived from the Sanskrit words Dasha, which means 10, and Avatara, which roughly translates to incarnation. In order to restore the cosmic order, Vishnu is thought to descend in the shape of an Avatar. So the namely incarnations are of Matsya, Purma, Varaha, Narasimha, Vaman, Parshuram, Ram, Krishna and Buddha and finally Kalki which is still awaited. Let us now discuss about the iconic typical features of Vishnu. Vishnu is often portrayed with having blue skin or dark skin with four hands. His lower hands hold a gada, a mace, a lotus, and the back hands hold a chakra and a conch. Sometimes the lower right hand is in Varaga Mudra. His chest carries the auspicious symbol of Sri Vatsa. Vishnu is adorned with a dark body with bright yellow robes, which is called the Pitambar, as he plays the role of Surya Narayan, the sun god who radiates warmth and light. His earrings are shaped like a Makara or a Cap Capricorn, which was a beast. And there is a story regarding that for which I will be providing you with the references. Vishnu also wears a jewel called Kausava either around his neck or on, its, or on his crown. This jewel is also called Chintamani or Parshmani which is a wish, uh, wish fulfilling gem that grows from the ocean of milk and is said to symbolize the sun itself. Vishnu has two garlands around his neck. The jeweled Vaijanti that acknowledge his many crimes over demons and other, the Vanamala made up of white flowers that symbolizes love which binds him to his devotees. This was all about the Vaishnava iconography for which I will be also providing you for further references for your further readings. See you in the next class where we will be discussing about the Shakta iconography.